been trading since I was 15 years old, I'm 18 now. Here are five big mistakes that I made that you can avoid. The first mistake I made was not using stop losses for most of my trades. This matters especially if you're trading something volatile. But you entering a trade without a stop loss is basically entering a trade blindly because you don't know a clear point of where your trading plan was wrong, meaning you shouldn't enter the trade. The second mistake is pretty common, but it's trading off indicators and thinking that I needed some specific indicator to make money. Most indicators are useless and I would not trade off them, so just learn how to analyze a blank chart and in my opinion, that's a way better way to trade. The third mistake was trying to get rich from trading overnight. If you think that trading will make you rich overnight, then you'll effectively never become profitable because what will happen is you'll rush your trades and you'll stay in them way longer than you have to be just to try to hit that one big trade and chances are you'll never hit that one big trade meaning you'll never become profitable what you have to realize is that becoming profitable from trading will take you months or even years and there's nothing you can do about that apart from trade in a sustainable way and never stray away from your rules fourth big mistake i made was trying to trade off other people's trading ideas or signals this might work a bit near the start but you trading off other people's signals or ideas means you'll never learn how to trade since you won't have the knowledge required to enter a trade on your own conviction on top of that you won't be able to get the same entries as them and you don't know the risk tolerance when they're entering these trades and the last biggest mistake i made was doubling down when my trading wasn't going well a lot of people think when they're losing money in trading what's required is putting in more money but that won't help the problem when you're losing money with trading you want to scale back and start trading with smaller amounts of money and then once you start to become more profitable then you can start to scale in again